just got back from the mall we went to Roosevelt Field Mall if you're from New York this car is about to hit us but it's like our big mall here that we have and we just ordered Panera from my phone we do the uh, mobile pickup which is like the best thing to do if you don't do that you definitely should yeah we're just gonna eat and I'm gonna do a haul later of everything that I got and I will update you when I get back it's a little bit later I want to show you guys what I got the first thing was Victoria's Secret I'm not gonna show you what I got from there. I will show you everything else. We went to Sephora. I picked up another one of the, the Amika dry shampoo. This is my favorite dry shampoo. I literally love this stuff so much. Then I also picked up the Fenty All Over Glow Enhancer. I also ordered the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter, but they didn't have my shade, so I ordered it online. And I'm going to mix this with that i did that in the store and it looked so good together so i'm excited about that the next place i went is nordstrom i only got one thing here i got a bodysuit from skims i have a couple other pieces from skims that i love so i feel like i'm also gonna really like this i love the material it's just like a dark charcoal gray bodysuit and it's just the short sleeve I feel like this is so cute to match with jeans or even like sweats honestly you could pair anything with it the next store that i went was urban I don't know, but I literally fell in love with these pants. I cannot wait to style them. They're like a parachute pant type of like really light material. Um, They have little ties at the bottoms and a little tie at the top. I don't know. I just like love these. I think they're so fun and like just remind me of spring and summer. The next thing that I got are these yoga pants, but they're kind of like a cargo yoga pant. I don't know how to explain them. They have like the pockets on the sides, but they're fitted. I thought these are so, so cute. I love like gray neutrals, you'll see, but I'll try and get like a pop of color here and there like the pants. And I just picked up this plain like ribbed t-shirt. I like the material and I think it's like cute. Another just plain basic to go with anything. And then the last thing from Urban is this little like bralette tank top thing. Again, a neutral color like matches with everything. From Forever 21, I think I only got one thing. And then socks, I'll show you those too, but I needed a new leather jacket because mine, I just needed a new one. It's ripped on the bottom and on the top. I like the wash of it. It's just like really nice to have an oversized jean jacket, especially for the spring. I feel like that's when you wear them the most. And then I got two pairs of socks because I thought they were so cute. This one has like little cows on it. And then, are you we kidding? Spongebob, like I had to get these ones. And then the last place I went was Garage. And I picked up just this plain pair of sweatpants because I literally live in sweatpants when I'm not out. Like anytime I'm chilling at home, I'll be in sweatpants and a sweatshirt or sweatpants and a t-shirt. And then this just really, really simple and cute little New York sweatshirt that's white with like the navy blue and the gold trim. This is like such good quality. I can't wait to wear this. It's so soft. But yeah, that's everything that I got today on my little mall trip. I am going to put all this away, probably clean up my room a little bit, and then I want to have like a little self-care night because it's so disgusting outside. It is pouring, pouring rain. I haven't seen it rain like this in so long. So I definitely want to do like a hair mask, a face mask, take like a nice shower. It's like the perfect night to vibe out and just watch a movie and chill and like have a self-care night. So I'm definitely going to take you guys along. I will catch up with you guys in a little bit. So usually when I shoot, it will be something like this. I'll lay everything out on my bed, even including the jewelry and everything that I want to wear like that. So this is just a pile of like tops that could be like options with the jeans and stuff that I might want to shoot in. I just have like a bunch of options laid out. These are two different styles of jeans. This is from today and so is this. I want to shoot in this sweatshirt and with this jacket, these pants. And then for shoes and stuff, I'll pick that like last minute because usually I have like a plain white shoe that matches with everything. But the jewelry really helps a lot and planning it because I like to have like a vision of everything first. And I can move these piles over to my dresser for tomorrow as well. So like I could just take this and then get dressed again tomorrow. So yeah, I have everything set up. I'm gonna go take some content and then the rest I'm gonna put away for tomorrow. So I just finished shooting some of the looks that I wanted to take content of. I ate dinner and fed Finn. Now I'm going to do a little hair mask before I get in the shower. I think I want to do the face mask um, after I shower and my face is all nice and clean and everything. I have a couple products that are my go-to for when I want to do like a hair mask. My hair is so disgusting because there's a wax stick in it. Oh my god. 
but I'll usually do my hair mask once a week. I really like to keep up to date with it because I feel like it really does make a difference in my hair growth. I'll always go in with an oil for my scalp or a scalp product before the conditioner for the ends of my hair. And everything that I use, I'm gonna link to so you guys can check it out if you want. But this is the Miel, I think that's how you say it. Rosemary Mint Hair Oil. And this just like strengthens your hair, helps with growth, helps your scalp too. I used this all last summer and through this winter. I'm almost out of the bottle, but it lasted such a long time. And then I always take one of these hair scrubber brushes. You can get these at like the drugstore or on Amazon. And I'll just go in circular motions and massage the oil into my scalp looks like so funny when you do this but this just gets in the oil better than like your fingertips could so i'll just sit here and do this for like a couple minutes if you don't have one of these you need to get them because this feels like literally so amazing you know those things that like when you were little you'd have like head scratcher things i don't know how to explain it you need to get one once that's in my scalp i will now go into my little continuous spray water bottle sometimes i do it before i do the oil but I'm really focusing the water like on the ends of my hair where I want to put the conditioning products. Now I'm gonna use my Olaplex number three and just comb that through the ends of my hair. You wanna make sure you wet your hair before you use the Olaplex. And I'll put this through the top to just whatever's left over on my hands. And then this I've only been using for a couple months, but this is the Moroccan Oil Intense Hair Mask. And I will again just rub this on my hands and put it through the mid to ends of my hair. This stuff smells amazing. Anything from Moroccan oil, like you really can't go wrong. I think that's my favorite hair brand. That and Briogeo is like some of the best stuff. Obviously Olaplex and everything, but I feel like everyone knows about Olaplex. So once I have everything in my hair, I will just put it up in a little claw clip. I'll usually let this sit for about 25 to 30 minutes and then I will shower it off and come back. I'm out now. I just changed into some comfy clothes. This is a little crew neck from Pretty Little Thing. And then these are just some purple sweatpants from Urban Outfitters. Um, this is like one of the comfiest outfits. I love their crew neck so much. They're so, so soft inside. I just sprayed some of this Briogeo Farewell Frizz leave-in conditioning spray and then comb that out. I want to do a little face mask now, so I'm just going to put my headband on. And I'm going to use the Summer Fridays Jet Lag Mask. This is one of my favorite masks. My skin feels feels like very very dehydrated and dry so I'm hoping that this will bring some moisture back into my skin. So it's currently 8 17. I'm gonna let this sit for like 15 minutes. Um, probably watch some YouTube or TikTok but I will come back to you when this is all rinsed off. Okay, I'm back and it is time for skincare. I'm going to start with the Pharmacy Deep Sweep Toner. This has become like one of my favorite products so quickly. I think I got it sent to me in February and I'm already like this much done. It's been like a month. But this just makes your skin feel so, so clean. I don't really know how to describe it. And I'll use this morning and night. It just depends. I definitely always, always use it at night. Then I'm going to go in with the Watermelon Glow Niacinamide Dew Drops from Glow Recipe. I like don't know how I feel about Glow Recipe. I think I like their stuff. I have a lot of minis of their stuff. So I've been using it. And I went to bed one night and woke up with like... A bunch of little like red dots underneath my eyes but I was using like multiple products but it was the first time I ever used glow recipe then I'm going to use the Tatcha the water cream this stuff like smells like a spa and then I'm gonna finish with the Tatcha the silk peony eye cream this is also a mini size that came in a set I like the way this eye cream smells. I think that it works good, but I also think the one from Amazon works good too. This is definitely like a lot finer of a cream, which I know is like good for underneath your eyes because sometimes thicker creams like really won't hydrate underneath the eyes because the skin is so, so delicate. But yeah, so far I like it. I don't know if I would repurchase it. It like low key burns a little, but yeah, I'll let you know how I feel about that. I think I'm just gonna braid my hair. I don't really feel like putting the blow dryer on it. Hopefully it dries because it's still a little damp. I usually sleep in a braid even when my hair is like completely dry. And then I'll just secure it with a scrunchie so it's not breaking my hair at the end and it's loose. And yeah, usually that's how I'll end up going to bed with my hair. <laughs> Thank you. 
this is a part of the night where I literally am now a mother and I have to clean Finn's paws, brush him, and get him ready for bed. Because having a golden doodle is literally like having a full-time child. I'm officially ready for bed. I'm gonna close off today's video here. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe if you aren't already, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.